ads. A lot of the real estate of, especially news sites, is devoted to ads. And so that's a lot of what people are seeing. Um, and in the context of news sites in particular, it can be hard for people to distinguish which parts are actually from the news site and which parts are ads because of the way the ads are designed to kind of blend in. Some research has shown it can impact the reputation of the website that, um, that the ads appear on. Um, and some of these ads are maybe scams. They might be, um, they might be these types of supplements maybe that don't actually work, but are using gross images or lies to try to get people to buy them. Um, we were also concerned that these ads could be used to spread misinformation. One of the consequences of this complex ad ecosystem is that the editors of the news website don't actually know exactly what ads end up being shown. You know, if I were someone whose goal was to inform the public about issues, I would worry about what is that content that is appearing on my site uh, that might be misinforming them about things uh, that are at odds with, with my overall goal. We kind of see the consequences of not really having too many guardrails on what um, advertisers are allowed to do. And so um, hopefully by studying this systematically um, and trying to measure this like at a broad scale, we can sort of inform, you know, what should we be doing? Uh, what should advertisers be doing? What should regulators be doing to try to um, make ads that are uh, less intrusive and annoying for people? And I think our, our overall goal is not to make the ads go away because they do fund the web, um, but to improve the quality of, of the content in the ads across the board.